pretty much once they came out, my school switched from using Macs to Chromebooks. And although I love Chromebooks for lots of different reasons, if you're a Chromebook user, you also know that they come with a unique set of challenges because you can't download programs onto a Chromebook. So when I was picking EdTech programs to use, first I had to figure out whether or not they were even Chromebook compatible. And then of course, a whole other set of questions would come up, like whether or not they were appropriate for my grade level, middle school, my subject area, humanities, and whether or not the program met my school's privacy policy. Good news, there's a brand new resource for Chromebook teachers that addresses all of these questions and a lot more. Hey everybody, my name is Sam Carey, and on this channel, we show you how to design innovative, engaging classrooms using technology. In this video, I'm going to show you a super useful resource that Google's obviously spent a lot of time and energy building in the background and just put up for the public called the Chromebook App Hub. So let's hop over and check it out. First, to get there, just type Chromebook App Hub in Google and then click on the first link that pops up. Now, there's a lot of information here and it can be a little bit overwhelming. So what I'm gonna do in this video is walk you through how I would approach using the Chromebook App Hub to learn more about tools and instructional strategies that I could use in my classroom. So first, I would start here on the Apps tab. And on this tab, you'll be able to find loads of information about Chromebook compatible apps. Now, when I was first learning how to teach with technology, I often picked tools based on word of mouth. Someone would tell me about a tool and I would go out and find information about it. So if you've heard about a tool and you just want to learn more about what it's about, whether it's Chromebook compatible, you can just search for any tool here in the search box and see what pops up. Eventually though, I started to look for tools that would help me implement specific instructional goals. And I would recommend that you start to do the same. So now rather than searching for a specific app, I'll use the filter tool on the Chromebook App Hub to help me find a particular program that aligns to my goals. One nice thing about this filter is that you can filter based on categories. So you can look up tools that will help you achieve specific goals. And one of the first things I would recommend anyone do is look for a tool that's going to help them increase active participation. So here I would select classroom management and participation. And then since I taught middle school, I would choose 11 to 13 as my age range. Given the choice, I'd always prefer to use a program that allows students to just sign in with their Google login. That way they don't have to create a separate account. So I'll also check the box here for Google SSO or single sign-on. At my previous school, we were allowed to experiment with programs, but they had to be GDPR and COPA compliant. So I'll make sure that I check those boxes as well. Now that I've defined the criteria for what I'm looking for in a program, you'll see some cards show up with a brief description of some of the different Chromebook compatible apps that I might wanna look at. Now, as I'm looking through these, I'm noticing WeVideo is a program that I've heard of, but it's not necessarily a tool that I thought of in terms of active participation. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and see what they have to say. Every program on the Chromebook App Hub has a page like this where you can learn a lot more about it. So here I can scroll down and see the Common Sense identified WeVideo as a top tool for learning. And I can also see that WeVideo is a Google for Education partner. So it just lends a little bit more credibility to that particular tool. Below there's also a longer written description about WeVideo and there's some video based resources here where I could learn more about what WeVideo is about in general. And I could also start to learn how to use it. Scrolling down, I can get more information about WeVideo like educator guides, case studies, and templates such as this one about using WeVideo for student portfolios. Now, I have a personal rule that I never pay for any program without giving it a full trial run. And I always advise people to do the same. So one thing that I appreciate about the Chromebook App Hub is that it tells you what you get with the free version. In this case, it looks like WeVideo is robust enough for me to give it a try before I decide to pay for it. As a Google Classroom user, I of course also need to make sure that an app integrates with my learning management system and I can get that information here too. One question I get asked all the time as a coach is whether or not a program integrates with other LMSs like Schoology and Canvas and you can easily find that out here as well. In the past, sometimes I actually needed to prove whether or not a tool would meet my school's privacy policy. Rather than hunting all around for it, there's a link right here that I can click on to get more information and then send that privacy policy over to my IT director or principal. In the related ideas section at the bottom of the page, you'll see some different ideas for how you might actually use this app in the classroom with your students. So going back to my original goal, I wanted to find a tool that would help with active participation. I can see on this card that it looks like students are actively participating. They're creating a video. And so I'm gonna click on it to check it out. All these idea pages have been created by other educators. 
all of whom have some level of Google for Education certification. You'll find a lot of useful information on these pages like tips, additional video-based resources with examples for what an activity might actually look like. And you'll even find some downloadable resources like this script for a green screen video that you can literally just take and use. So if I wanted to try out Lead Video as a way to increase active participation in my class, I pretty much have everything I need to get started right here on the Chromebook App Hub. Now I just showed you how you could use the filter to find an app that meets your needs and then eventually find an activity that uses that app. But you could also go the other way around and start with an activity first. So if you wanna start with an activity first, go to the ideas tab and there you'll see a bunch of different ideas for how you could use technology in your classroom like the green screen example that I just showed you. Just like the apps tab, you could just openly scroll around if you wanted to, or you could use the filter to be able to filter for different categories like storytelling or social emotional learning. And then of course you can also filter activities based on subject area, age range, and also learning goal. So here, for example, is a different idea page showing me how I might have a mock Twitter conversation in my classroom. If you're a Chromebook teacher and wanna learn more about some of our favorite Chromebook compatible apps, including WeVideo, then be sure to check out that playlist that we put together just for you.